Hello and welcome to another episode of Hardware Unbox. I'm your host Matt and today we've got a product that I'm very excited about. We've got on hand Kingston's fastest ever SSD, the HyperX Predator. Now unlike most SSDs on the market, the HyperX Predator doesn't use the serial ATA interface. Instead, it uses PCI Express, which provides it with a lot more bandwidth. As a result, performance is measured in megabytes for this one. The HyperX Predator provides an awesome 1.4 gigabytes per second read, coupled with 1 gigabyte per second write. These stats are all advertised on the box, along with a few other technical specifications. Luckily enough, in my hands right now, I've got the 480 gigabyte model. As it stands, this is the largest available in the market right now. Alright guys, now time for the unboxing. Alrighty, so Kingston's included a nice little shiny sticker for your case. We've got a very tiny instruction manual that's pretty much unreadable. And you just got the uh, Kingston software activation key. Now we'll peel away this very sexy HyperX foam and we've got the product itself. All modern systems have a PCI Express slot, however they don't all offer M2 support. The Predator is actually an M2 SSD that's been fitted to a PCI Express adapter card. Kingston will have most likely gone down this route to improve compatibility. Out of the box, the Predator comes fitted with a full height bracket, but conveniently included is a half height bracket for low profile systems too. The Predator is a PCIe Gen 2 card, and this is the Times 4 connector, which allows for a peak bandwidth of up to 2 gigabytes per second. This is plenty of headroom as the card is only rated for up to 1.4 gigabytes per second. Alright guys, so one little thing we noticed about uh, the HyperX that may, may be a little bit different to most M2 cards that come with a PCIe adapter is it looks like you can actually remove the card from the adapter without voiding the warranty. So the sticker does say warranty void if removed but as far as we can tell there's absolutely no way that you have to know that you've done it. So you can just unscrew it from the adapter like so. Slot it into your motherboard. And screw it in and there's no way Kingston could be any the wiser. Now you know how we're unboxed, we never leave you high and dry without a performance test and seeing the card in the system. So we've moved the old dusty Titan X out of the way so you can see how it slots in. So just straight into the PCIe slot there. All you're left to do is screw it in. Now let's go and give it a test run. Now, let's do some quick benchmarking with AS SSD Benchmark. By default, we've got C drive selected, but we want the secondary D drive as this is the Predator. Now let's hit start. So first we have the sequential write test, and here we see the Predator gets very close to the quote of 1 gigabyte per second, hitting 894 megabytes per second. Now sequential read, and again we get close to the advertised speed of 1.4 gigabytes per second with 1369 megabytes per second. The random 4K performance is very good, and the write result is certainly much stronger than any SATA SSD we've seen, including the Samsung SSD 850 Pro. Now although this isn't an NVMe SSD, the Predator delivered pretty exceptional threaded performance. And finally we have the access time results, and everything looks great here as well. The read access time is a blistering fast 0.042 milliseconds. Before wrapping things up, we're going to take a quick look at the copy benchmark too. So here we have a compressed ISO file test as well as a program game copy test, so let's start. The ISO file test took less than a second, hitting just over a gigabyte per second. The program test, which features many more smaller read writes, took a bit longer, though it still managed a healthy 450 megabytes per second, which is again much faster than any SATA SSD we've seen. 
Lastly, the game copy benchmark took less than two seconds and got just over 700 megabytes per second. This has been another unboxing and quick product preview from Hardware Unbox. If you liked it, hit like. If you disliked it, hit dislike. But most importantly, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.